it was evident that there was a need for trash collection and people in Gayul are willing to pay for it. We expanded from two donkeys to a citywide waste management system by working with the trash collectors in Gayul. Of course, being the only American in Gayul, everyone um, wants to have a conversation with you, but it's always, it's always a conversation. How's the waste management project going? Uh, I'm getting a trash can. It's exciting to hear the community talking about the project and supporting it. Being um, half Nigerian and American, a lot of Americans and other foreigners automatically assume that I'll have an easier time integrating into Senegalese culture. But it's funny, the second I go anywhere in Senegal, everyone can instantly tell that I'm not Senegalese. Just being a minority as a Peace Corps volunteer, not only are you integrating into a completely different culture, you're also being placed in an environment where not a lot of people look like you. And um, we found that a lot of other countries were using, um, had in place a diversity committee. Now all incoming volunteers during their trainings, they'll have conversations about diversity and providing support and serving as an ally for your fellow volunteers who are coming from different backgrounds. I think it's, it's just great to reinforce to other Americans how alike we are in the fact that we grew up in America, we have this similar culture that isn't based on the color of our skin and the people in Senegal, they can see that. With us being um, black Americans, I mean, it's obvious that we, we stand out. There's not much uh, diversity in Ukraine or Eastern Europe in general. We understand and know that there's a novelty factor when people see us because it's when people see us, people see us. Yes. Oftentimes people think that the average American um, is white and mm -hmm. we're not. And so it actually makes it a great match because people can see the diversity of America and they're being taught English by um, people who may not be the people that they see on television. Living here, a lot of times people like to focus on traditional mm -hmm. things and doing things a traditional way. But, um, for instance, uh, teaching kids, taking them outside to do activities, that's out of the box, and a lot of times people don't expect that. <laughs> so I think we've taught them that creativity can really encourage people to want to learn more. I think we've taught them it's okay to be different. I think that's one thing we think about in relation to America and coming to a place that has very little diversity that to think differently is sometimes uh, good. Nicaragua touches both the Pacific and the Atlantic coast, and on the Atlantic coast, there is a black population. So if I go up to a Nicaraguan and they hear me speak Spanish, and they'll say, where are you from? The Atlantic coast, and I'll go, no. I'll say, I'm American, I'm from North America, I'm American. And they'll just stare and be like, wow, okay. I didn't know that you guys were, you were there. As a small business volunteer, the main project that we have is teaching an entrepreneurship in the high schools to juniors and seniors. The town has a history of creating natural medicines. So they spoke with the elders in the community, they spoke with their family members, and they were able to come up with a concoction of natural plants. And this product could be used for alleviating pain, helping to heal scarring, sore muscles. After the Peace Corps, I plan to stay in Nicaragua. I love my site, I love being in Rivas, and I have many business ideas that I want to pursue. The Nicaraguan culture overall is just so, everyone really has open arms and they're very welcoming. Being able to be an African American in Nicaragua has been a great experience. In terms of everyone I've been able to interact with and say, you know, I'm the face of America as well. It's, we're not just one shade, we have a variety of shades and sizes and colors and everything. NGO is called Tolerance for Everyone. We're using sports to create projects where they get both young Roma and young ethnic Bulgarian participants to kind of create a cultural awareness and a cultural exchange as well. I've actually been coaching basketball with kids for a while now and in Samakov basketball has become a pretty developed sport. 
a lot of the coaches, for example, a lot of them have actually been in the States before. So they've had interactions before with African Americans. The players who I, who I coach, the little girls, I think they're actually just curious about me. They're curious about me as a black person. Like they're really, I think they're really curious about that because of what they see in, like for example, music videos. And I'm actually kind of flattered by the attention and how interested they are in getting to know me and getting to know more about me and being a black person because they're actually very open about asking me questions about being black, which is <laughs> kind of refreshing. <laughs> Bulgarians are very reserved and initially they can come off as being almost cold, but once they get to know you, they're very, very generous and very hospitable. I can't think of anything that I would ever need that I would not feel comfortable asking one of my, like my colleagues or somebody here at the Zala for. I think I belong, I feel like I'm a part of this community.